Hi there, I'm so excited to be sharing this information with you today. This information has literally changed my life and changed the lives of my family. Um, so we are talking about a complex world that is hidden in our gut. Um, and this is really actually new information. This has been discovered as of 2012, um, really what the microbiota does for us. So all of the beneficial bacteria in our gut is made up of this complex universe called the microbiota. And it's a little bit more than just probiotics. A lot of people think of, you know, gut bacteria probiotics, okay. Well, it does so many things for us. Not only does it manufacture vitamins for us, um, digest starches, um, messages the brain and more. Um, our gut is actually probably the most important, it's called the second brain, but probably the most important brain because it's a thousand times louder than our own. It's far more in charge of what we eat than we are. Um, and just, I wanna kinda start by showing you kind of what shapes the microbiota in the beginning, but first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my family. Um, this is near and dear to my heart. This is something, um, as I learned this information, it's had a profound effect on me. I used to suffer from some food allergies. I had migraine headaches often, um, definitely crazy food cravings and stiff joints. My husband definitely suffered from some arthritis. Um, my son, when he was born, he was horribly colicky, um, had eczema, food allergies as well. And um, you'll get, I'll get into his story in a little bit, a little sensory stuff. So um, when I learned this information, he was about one, and it made such a profound effect on all of us um, that he started, you know, being able to eat things that he wasn't, that he had been previously allergic to, and that was a huge gift as a mom. Um, but then for to have two more babies that didn't have the issues that he did um, was really profound for me. So I'll get into a little bit more of that in a little bit. But I want to start out with kind of teaching here what really shapes our microbiome in the first place. So to begin with, it's how we're born. If we're born C-section um, versus vaginally, our microbiome might struggle to, to develop properly because we're not getting all of the beneficial bacteria from mom through the birth canal. Um, we're getting bacteria from you know, the doctor's hands or whatever in the hospital, things like that. Um, and then diet, diet's huge um, for shaping the microbiome. And then the other thing that really affects it is that we are just as a society super obsessed with sanitizing everything. And that actually can hamper our microbiome. Um, medication, that does definitely plays a role. In fact, I listed up here because I thought this was fascinating um, how differently different medications um, affect it. So penicillins allow bacteria found in the bowel to move up into the intestines. Tetracyclines alter the protein structure in the gut wall, causing the immune system to attack the gut. Myosins can completely wipe out good E. coli, leaving individuals more susceptible to the bad strain. And steroids almost always equal a fun fungal overgrowth. And contraceptive pills are devastating to the gut. And unfortunately, in my lifetime, I've been on all of these things, which is why my microbiome was in big trouble. Um, and then lifestyle it definitely plays a, a role and genetics definitely plays a role. I'll get into a little bit more on that in a little bit. Um, this is important because 70% of our gut is our, our immune system resides in our gut. Um, and you know, the gut actually pr produces three fourths of the body's neurotransmitters. So this is a, there's a huge gut brain connection that is incredibly important. This is a, a little visual to remind me to, to talk about how profound the microbiome can be in shaping our bodies. Um, they discovered this by accident. They actually transplanted um, gut microbes from a, um, one overweight mouse to a thin mouse and found that the thin mouse became then became overweight. Um, it was more in charge of the, the microbiome in this mouse was more in charge of what the mouse ate after having these new gut bacteria. Um, and what they have found, and this is really exciting for people that are looking into um, obesity, because what they have found is if they can balance the gut, that the food cravings come down and their body can come back into balance. And so when we have an overactive amount of bad bacteria to good, it sends crazy food cravings to us. Um, and if we can, it, that's called dysbiosis basically. So we can kind of understand that concept. And this is like, oh my gosh, check this guy for dysbiosis stat. We 
want to have the cheeseburger. We want to have the donut. Like those, those bad guys are basically sending us that message, overriding, overriding our willpower saying, if you don't eat that, I'm going to die. Um, and die off is not a fun feeling. When you're, when your bad bacteria is dying off, you feel very ill, get headaches, achy, um, nauseous. And the, when you feed it what it wants, that goes away. So it's a very vicious cycle, um, but very exciting because I'm going to teach you a few things we can do about that. Okay, and then just to kind of paint a picture here, I want to show you what we're up against um, in terms of when the gut is in dysbiosis or there's leaky gut. Um, there's general signs are chronic fatigue, food allergies, general seasonal allergies, joint pain, arthritis, skin rashes, nutritional deficiencies, weakened immune system, um, and then more severe conditions of leaky gut include IBS, Crohn's, celiac, diabetes, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and Hashimoto's. Brain-related symptoms, again, the gut, that huge gut-brain connection, um, include mood, brain fog, um, anxiety, depression, and I say mood, I mean like, you know, not such a great mood, right? Um, and then uh, larger neurological issues often are things like Alzheimer's, autism spectrum disorders, fibromyalgia, anxiety, headache and migraine, multiple sclerosis, and neuropathy. So this is a big deal. Okay, I do this um, presentation in a little more interactive way, usually in a group. And so I have people um, guess in what is in this orange soda bottle. So this is an orange soda that you would get in a vending machine. It's not very big. And I usually have people guess how many, how many packets of sugar would be in this. And it's always shocking to, to realize there's 22 packets of sugar in one of these small orange soda bottles. And we would, that's about the size of a tall iced tea, right? We would never stir 22 packets of sugar into our, into our um, iced tea. And yet it's in our sodas and we don't realize how sweet that is because it's, you know, artificially flavored. Um, I won't even go into the other chemicals that are in there, um, cold and, and carbonated. Um, and really, really we are what we eat. Sugars and refined carbs, hydrogenated oil and processed food chemicals have a devastating effect on our microbiota. Um, and then I bring up sugar really because it is a very addictive cycle with sugar. It's um, more addictive than cocaine. We have this, um, this high, this, you know, compensatory mechanisms of the body going, oh my gosh, what do I do with this stuff? To the crash, to the, oh my gosh, now I'm starving. And this this huge addictive cycle. And not only that, it feeds the bad yeasts in our body that again, sends stronger messages to our brain than we're in control of. Um, and this is important to realize too, that since the turn of the century, our sugar consumption has skyrocketed. Um, it used to be that, you know, every five days we'd have the equivalent of about a can of soda. And now every five days it's this much, which means actually I just read a statistic recently that it's more like 250 pounds a year per person that the average American consumes. And that's about 3,500 pounds. Well, the 130 pounds is about 3,500 pounds in someone's lifetime. And the problem with sugar is that it's processed 27 times, including bleaching. It literally paralyzes our immune system for six hours. Um, and I talk about this because oftentimes we hear about, you know, the cold and flu season. And I really want to just relabel that to the sugar holiday season that starts with Halloween and ends at Easter. I mean, we are bombarded with sugar all winter long and constantly um, hampering our immune system and, and harming our microbiota because it's all one, right? Um, I'm not here to scare you. There are simple solutions and simple switches. You can still have your cake and eat it too. Not all sweeteners are created equal. Um, these sweeteners are much healthier for your for your body and um, don't have as much of a devastating effect to the microbiota. I'm not going to say it's it's you know a free for all. It's still going to feed yeast, but it's not going to have the same effect and it's not going to be as detrimental. So definitely um, choose your sweets wisely. I will um, make my kids cake or or cookies or whatever with naturally sweetened things when they get treats from school. Cause it's constant right now. It's crazy. Just had um, Valentine's day and they came home with, you know, bags of it. So they trade me their bags and they get to pick whatever sweet thing, favorite sweet that I bake for them. Um, so that's one, uh, one idea. 
And the other good news is that the microbiota changes fast. It's so exciting that the average lifespan of the bacterium in our microbiome is about 20 minutes. So we can have, we have an opportunity to begin every day with a new microbiota. Um, we can improve our gut microbiome in a day, I should say, not a whole new one, but that's exciting because we can really um, change things quickly. And then what about genetics? So I'm a certified health coach and I get a lot of my clients that say, you know, I just have a history of, of diabetes, cancer, you know, it's in my genetics, it's my destiny. Well, genes are not your destiny. That's the other thing that we've recently figured out is mapping the human genome. So we know that we can turn off bad genes and turn on good genes. And that's so exciting. And not only that, if we turn off the bad genes through diet and exercise, we won't pass those genes on to our kids. And if it's something that um, you're just discovering and you already have kids, this is something you can teach your kids and that won't have to be your grandkids' destiny. Um, so very exciting to think that we can completely change generations by making different choices. And this is why I'm a mom on a mission to get this information out to as many people as possible because there really is a lot of hope. Um, a scary t statistic that came across and really set me on this journey um, was that our kids have a shorter life expectancy than we do then this is the first generation in history that that's, a, that's the reality. Um, and that's just not okay with me. And so I'm really passionate about sharing this information with people because there is a lot we can do. Um, okay, so I like to keep it simple with my kiddos. Um, I say happy bugs make happy bodies. And I will encourage them, you know, are you feeding the good bugs with that choice or the bad bugs? And just keep it simple. Um, it's important to understand that we have this whole different world in our bodies. And I think kids can conceptualize it and have fun with this. Um, but I, I love this. It's like amazing to me. We are born 100% human. Our, all of the cells in our body are 100% human. And we die with 90% of the cells in our body not human. And that's in our microbiome. So they outnumber us exponentially. So um, in fact, if you wait, if you took these invisible guys out of our body and off our body, they're not just in our body, they're on our body as well. Um, it would be about five to six pounds that these hundred trillion different um, beneficial bacteria and bacteria weigh. So, you know, that's just, that's crazy to me. Five to six pounds of invisible good guys, bad guys, whatever combination, right? Um, and so I, again, I like, like to kind of paint this picture for my kiddos and, and encourage them to be feeding the good guys as much as possible. Um, sometimes when we're switching to making good choices, it's not so fun. Um, so I just want to warn you of that. Um, but it's short lived, hopefully for most. Um, we have what we, that discomfort is called die off. It's literally the bad guys dying off. And I, and I mentioned before some of the symptoms to that. There's other symptoms, gas, bloating, cramping. There's a lot of things that go along with die off. Um, but I'm going to show you how to kind of ease that, ease, ease into that new microbiome. Um, a lot of people think, okay, well, I need, I know I need more good guys. I'm going to take a probiotic. Well, um, Unfortunately, probiotics are a little limited. Um, we definitely want to try to, in, in terms of getting good guys, we want about 80% good guys to 20% bad guys. We don't have to be perfect. Um, but there are about, guesstimated about 35,000 different beneficial bacteria strains. And I think the most that I've ever seen in a probiotic is 35 different strains. Of course, there's billions of them because oftentimes they don't when they're isolated like that and trapped in time, they don't survive our digest digestive tract. So they have to put billions of, um, of bacteria into the probiotic. Um, and so if they have, you know, like let's say we have 35 different strains and billions of those, hopefully some of them get into our lower intestine. Um, but we've found problems with people taking um, probiotics for long periods of time, sometimes it can develop into something like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth where the probiotics get to where they shouldn't be. Um, and so you have to be very careful with dosing probiotics and definitely seek professional help if you are taking a probiotic. Um, some of the ways that I choose to, to help the microbiome 
is through um, sauerkraut or naturally fermented foods. And a lot of things, um, a lot of people need to realize too that prebiotics are very important to feed the probiotics. If you put a bunch of probiotics in there and aren't feeding them, they're not really going to be that healthy. So you want some prebiotics in your diet as well. Um, so feeding them FOS, fructoagulosaccharides or agulosaccharides, that's a, a non-digestive starch that we can't digest, but that's their food. Um, so, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but keeping it simple, some of my simple mom tricks are nurse um, your baby if you can. Um, I'll get into some new discoveries they found in breast milk um, in a second. Sauerkraut, sneak that in there. In fact, I have this little test um, for clients like, how do you feel about sauerkraut? And if I get the, Ugh, then I know there's some yeast in the mouth and that there might be some yeast systemically as well because sauerkraut tastes horrible to people that have yeast in the mouth. It actually starts killing the yeast right away and tastes really bad, um, but it tastes great to those that don't have a lot of yeast overgrowth in the mouth. So that's kind of a fun little test. Um, if you are one of those people that get the, the shakes when, when you hear the words sauerkraut, um, you can sneak it into smoothies. Just one teaspoon of the juice from sauerkraut contains more probiotics than an entire bottle of probiotics. So that's really exciting. Um, great usable probiotics. And then um, definitely shape young tastes. So again, if you have a child that's really picky, check out their tongue. If they have a white coating, that's a sign that there's a lot of yeast. Um, you can cleanse the tongue and you know, sneak in things like sauerkraut into smoothies, get some coconut oil in there. It's great antimicrobial, antifungal properties will help with that. Um, and then in terms of just helping your, your own microbiota and the, your microbiota of your children, spend time in nature, eat plenty of raw plants. Um, in fact, raw sour, or sauerkraut is so powerful because cabbage itself has so many probiotics living on cabbage that all you have to do is chop it up, um, mix some salt with it and, you know, kind of squish it, basically get it all down into, pack down into a jar um, and get the, the liquids squished out of it and kind of over, I, I usually weight mine down, get the liquids floating over the cabbage itself and you put it in the pantry for about a week and you've got sauerkraut. And it's like, you know, because it has so many good guys, but all fruits and vegetables have good guys on them. So definitely eat um, plenty of raw plants and then avoid antimicrobial drugs and toxic body care products, exercise and manage stress, eat small amounts of fermented veggies like sauerkraut, like I talked about, and eat fiber-rich plants. Um, and try not to eat late. The microbiota sh starts kind of shutting down around six. Um, not always possible for some people, but if you just kind of think, I'm not digesting as properly later at night, um, you're not putting that strain on your body when you're eating late at night, or eat things that are easy to digest. Um, okay, breast milk is superfood. This is new science. They have discovered a whole um, gut bacterium that is in, that is unique to infants that are that are nursed, and um, it actually completely um, coats the lining of the gut for that infant, protecting it from bad bacteria. So, very very exciting. Not only does um, breast milk have probiotics, but it has this um, very special bacteria that completely lines the gut bacteria. And then breast milk is primarily agulosaccharides. So not only are we getting that awesome, you know, unique bacteria that completely protects the gut, but it's getting all the gut food that it needs as well. Um, and this is exciting because not all moms can nurse. It, it is a, a not an easy road. And maybe this is something that they'll be able to use to make formulas a little bit more um, protective as well for those that can't nurse. So that's, this is an incredible discovery as of recently. Okay. And this makes me giggle. I could, this is the only picture I could find on the internet that said feed your microbiome. I was like, okay, we're going to use it. Um, so anyway, fruits and vegetables are so good for you and really want to make sure we're getting enough um, servings a day. And so usually in my group, I'll ask how many are you getting? Um, and it's really sad, but most people are getting about two and a half servings a day. And a serving is about the size of your fist. And you want to be getting nine to 13 servings every day which most people aren't. Um, and then it's even more so if you are an athlete and you're working out an hour in any 24 hour period, the current, that recommendation is 16 to 18 servings. And then also I'll say if you have any imbalance, headaches, acne, um, stiff joints are just, um, you know, if you're 
if you have any autoimmune issues, I mean, the list goes on, right? You want even more. So you want to definitely get that microbiome fed. Um, and then prebiotics. So, so I'm just going to kind of list some things to be making sure we're getting every day. Some great prebiotics are things like garlic, onions, bananas have a prebiotic, um, asparagus, chicory. Um, probiotics are in things like sauerkraut, um, which is super powerful, like I said, because it's got so many beneficial bacteria and other um, fermented veggies, tempeh and kombucha and more. Okay. Um, and then something else I really want to illustrate for what's in plants, how, how powerful they are. We all know that plants have antioxidants. Um, we know that we need to eat the rainbow for, you know, things like cancer prevention. Um, but I, when I saw this, I've truly understood why fruits and vegetables are so powerful. So we've only discovered 13 vitamins. Um, we only know how to isolate that many, right? And then there's handfuls of minerals and maybe some herbs. So a multivitamin, even the both, you know, best designer food-based multivitamin has about 50 ingredients at best. Um, and an apple has 10 thousand ingredients. This is the 400 known ingredients in an apple, but they see these, you can break apples down into this, like, you know, look at all the different compounds register in a bar graph. I can't remember the name of the thing that, that measures these things, but they know because there's all these different compounds, they haven't figured out a name or named yet that there's about 10,000 ingredients in an apple. So if you were gonna list it out, it would take 26 of these pages to list out everything in an apple. So whole foods are dynamic. They detoxify and protect and there really is no substitute. Um, this is an embarrassing picture of me. This is me in my early 20s when my microbiome was not happy. Um, this is me before kids even. This is my little brother. Um, it's a generational thing. So my mom, her microbiome was altered. Actually, she, her mom, my grandma wanted to nurse, but it was not in fashion back then. And so bottle feeding was the thing back then. Um, and that altered her gut microbiome. And she actually has seasonal allergies. And then she passed on her altered microbiome to me and her seasonal allergies progressed to food allergies for me. I also had things like chronic fatigue. Um, I was exhausted all the time in my early 20s. Um, and then my son got my even more altered microbiome and he had things like eczema, um, colic, and we'll see too that the usually the progression is from seasonal allergies to food allergies to brain issues. And so I'll get into his story in just a second um, because he definitely um, dealt with some brain issues. And then I figured out how to repair all of these things. And my daughter Mia is completely a different child, never been on antibiotics in her life, like healthiest kid you would ever want to meet and amazing, um, never had any issues that he did. So this is really exciting information. Um, I want to invite you right now to be a part of our healthy living community. This is something that takes a village. Um, definitely want to have support when you're changing your, your diet dietary habits. Um, even if you're healthy already, we can use your help. You know, we really want to get this message out to people and really change the face of, or basically change what our kids are facing. Um, so we have an incredible healthy living community. It's called the Healthy Living Revolution. And if you go to the healthylivingrevolution.com, there's incredible resources there. There's live webinars where, you know, there's so many healthcare professionals that donate their time to this. I can't even I think it's hundreds um, that donate their time to this and they do live webinars every two weeks on different topics. We just had one um, on the microbiome, um, brain health, inflammation, the list goes on. So all of those are on their revolution live and it's, those are free to access and then cookbooks. And there's even a healthy living ambassadors guide for kids. So there's, and there's also home health fitness series. So there's so many great resources on this healthylivingrevolution.com site. Um, okay, a little bit more about my story and more embarrassing pictures. Um, I want to share a simple solution with you that a doctor blessed me with 12 years ago. So when Gabe was one, like I said, he was um, very colicky baby, um, just sleepless nights. We were miserable. He had a lot of eczema. Um, he started not making eye contact and he was incredibly picky and he started hitting his head against the wall. That was his thing. And I was terrified. I was a first time mom. I was overwhelmed. 
and I did not want autism to be his reality. And so I flew him to a specialist who had her MD, her naturopathic degree, and she was a, a professor of biochemistry before she got those two doctorates. So um, this, I knew I was in good hands and she um, really shared a, a, an amazing simple solution with us called Juice Plus. And it was just an incredible way to get 30 different raw fruits, veggies, and berries into his diet every single day. And she was so passionate about this product because she had seen profound changes in her clients. She had heard about the scientific studies and one in particular really caught her attention and, and she decided to share it in her client base um, because it shows that it reduces oxidative stress by 75%. Fruits and vegetables are powerful, right? But no one gets enough. So with um, that reduction in oxidative stress by 75%, that's huge for kids on the spectrum or, or adults on the spectrum. That's huge for us, but it's especially huge for kids on the spectrum because they just don't detox the way our bodies do. They get more clogged um, detox pathways for whatever reason, probably having to do with the microbiome, but anyway. Um, so it's it's been an incredible, incredible tool for us. Um, and I wanna say within a couple of months, um, he was making eye contact within a few more months after that he was eating things like a tomato He just ate it like it was an apple. He never would have done that before um, For me, this is me, you know pregnant with Gabe at 26 and then pregnant with Izzy at 36 and the difference was huge <laughs> Literally and figuratively I had preeclampsia with Gabe. I had um, I was miserably sick um, and I just was not, I had excess baby weight forever afterwards. None of those things with either of my, my girls. And so I am so forever grateful that I had Juice Plus as my prenatal with them. Um, today, Gabe is really a goofy, happy, healthy guy. Um, I can't even imagine what the, what the picture would have looked like um, for him if we hadn't discovered this amazing, simple tool. Um, he, he might he has some sensory things, but they're so mild that he's super high functioning and you would never know that he's on the spectrum. So I'm so forever grateful that we got this simple solution. Um, and so Juice Plus can be such a simple solution for anyone that is struggling to bridge the gap between what they should be eating, what they are eating. Um, it's 30, like I said, 30 different fruits, veggies, and berries in our capsule form or chewable. And then if you add our complete protein shake that is a completely vegan protein shake, um, you're getting another 15 plants. So totally, you would be getting 45 different plants. And there's amazing probiotics, so just the right amount of probiotics in our capsules. Um, and then the shakes have an incredible prebiotic, the fructoagulosaccharide. Um, say that five times fast, right? Um, and so together, this is an incredible gut tonic, I want to call it, um, because it really helps reset the gut. Um, and can you imagine what your cells are getting with you're getting 45 different plants in your body every single day? Um, I love Juice Plus because it is truly unique. It's a, it has a food label. Um, it has all of those tens of thousands of phytonutrients um, because the, the fruits and vegetables are allowed to ripen to their fullest. Most things are picked before they're ripe you know, trucked, stored on the shelves. And by the time we're getting it, there's very little nutrition left. In fact, a green bean loses all of its vitamin C within 24 hours from picking. So by the time we're getting things, maybe two weeks at best, um, there's a huge nutritional deficiency. Um, so Juice Plus is truly nutrition trapped in time. Um, and then it's non-genetically modified. It's dairy-free, gluten-free. And I want to say too that they, it literally gets picked, um, processed within hours, gets frozen, gets shipped to the encapsulation facility where it's then taken from those frozen powders, frozen juices to powders within seconds at a low temperature. Um, so it is truly raw, which is really exciting too. Um, on top of that, it is third party certified, which is incredible because this third party, not only does Juice Plus test it multiple times throughout the processing, but this company comes in randomly pulls batches of Juice Plus and announce and test the, it for things like moles, bacteria, pesticides, um, heavy metals, the list goes on. So it's truly a pure product. Only 1% of supplements pass NSF. Um, I am a geek, <laughs> and so I really love the clinical research. If you really um, 
are geeky like me, we have a lot of great recordings and I won't take up time to, to go through all of that today, but things like improved cardiovascular wellness, supports the immune system, not only balances the immune system, but brings up natural killer cells and T cells, which is incredible, brings those B cells into balance. So a lot of people with autoimmune system or autoimmune disorders are having real hope through being able to balance our immune system with this one simple change. Improves gum health, um, reduces oxidative stress like I talked about, reduces systemic inflammation, that's huge on so many levels. Protects DNA, actually reduces DNA damage by 66% in an elderly study, which was incredible. Um, healthier skin, the list goes on. They have even studied it in children, they've studied it in pregnancy, um, really unheard of research and all primi primarily double blind, placebo controlled, randomized, peer reviewed and published. So the gold standard. Um, I want to invite you really to look at this other mind blowing thing. When I learned this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is why you saw that picture um, before of me on my yo-yo diet phase where it was like I would exercise, I would eat right, I would lose the weight. And as soon as I like slacked for a second, it would all come back and then some, and I was so frustrated. Um, and this is because it's really our job, um, our body's job to hold on to excess fat, um, to protect our vital organs from toxins. And so if we diet and exercise, but we don't get rid of the impurities, our, as soon as our body can rebound, it's like, Ooh, that was close. That was, you know, almost cancer maybe, or almost something devastating. Thank goodness we have our fat back to protect our, our organs from toxins. Um, so if we can cleanse, then we truly do our bodies a lot of uh, a lot of good. We can lose the weight naturally. There's no longer a need for that excess fat. And then there's no rebound. So we have an incredible program called the Shred 10. It's a 10 day program, it's a 10 day jump start to really reset the gut and kind of reset those food cravings, right? These are a couple of my friends that have done a series of 10 day shreds. So either once, a, we do a 10 day shred once a month as a healthy living community, um, or you can continue on. There's a few simple rules that you follow and some um, product guidelines, or you can continue to shred you know, all throughout the, the month or, you know, in fact, Erica did, um, a series of, of shred tens for 30 days. And so she went from a size 14 to a size two, 55 pounds down. So that's really exciting. And then my friend Joel, who in his thirties um, was a hundred pounds heavier than he is now in his mid forties um, through doing a series of shred tens and, and what we called kind of transform 30, but this is not a diet. Um, fad or anything like that. This is not just for weight loss. This is really a revolutionary lifestyle. Um, my daughter is so amazing. She will make her own smoothie. And I notice when I volunteer in her class, I notice if she hasn't made a smoothie that morning, if I haven't made it, I'll make her smoothies too. But um, if she's just eating cereal or something like that, her attention span is not what it is when she has her smoothie. Her blood sugar stabilized well into lunch, um, and she just can concentrate so much better. And I love that she's walking out of the door with that's a bunch of blended kale, um, which is really exciting. Um, so, what is the cost? A lot of people are like, okay, tell me how much it costs. Um, how is this? How is this going to be hurting my wallet? It's so affordable. The 30 different fruits, veggies, and berries that you get through our capsules, our chewables, is only two dollars and thirty-eight cents a day. And I bought an organic peach in season where they grow just to see. Um, and it was $2 and 50 cents. So 30 versus a one peach. It's a huge difference. And this is the the, the phytonutrients, all of the antioxidants from fruits and vegetables through the, the drying process, the sugar and salt is actually filtered out. So you're getting the benefits of juicing without the sugar load. So it's really an amazing um, concept. And then the shakes are only $2 a shake. So $2 meal, which is incredible. Um, and our shred 10 is um, the juice plus trio plus two shakes for that 10 days. So that's a great 10 day jump start to a whole different microbiome and different cravings. Um, I love this company has a huge heart for kids. Juice plus is free to children um, between the ages of four and 18 and even full-time undergraduate college students. Um, with an adult sponsor. So if it's something that you would like to um, 
get a child on, you can be their, their sponsor. You can be related or just be able to get the, the product to them is the only requirement. Um, so that's really exciting. And this is a, actually the largest longitudinal study of its kind. There's over a million participants at this point. And they're seeing um, kids and adults are drinking more water. They're eating less fast food. They're craving more fruits and vegetables. They're getting sick less, taking less prescription drugs, um, and the list goes on. Um, again, I really just want to invite you to be a part of our healthy living community where we've got so much education um, that is life changing, not just about the gut. There's other things too that are amazing to um, be educated on, but we also really do have a heart for kids. So please check out the health, healthy living revolution.com and check out this amazing ebook, which is a healthy ambassadors guide for kids. Um, we have live events. We have a private Facebook group. That's totally free cookbooks and more. Um, and thank you so much for taking the time. We really just enjoy and, and want you to kind of enjoy the resources, the free resources that we're offering. Um, and really, you know, kind of consider what path you want to take. You might want to take a few simple steps, you know, there on the left, just get the free cookbooks, you know, maybe try one of the, the home workout series um, videos on the website. Um, just kind of cruise around and see what's there for you. Maybe you want a roadmap. Maybe you want some done for you things and the shred 10 might be a, a great solution for you or just adding the capsules to your life. So you have that incredible um, nutritional foundation baseline, or maybe you'd like to take the road less traveled and share this with others. If you can think of people that you would like to share this with, there's an incredible opportunity to make some um, stay at home money. So this is um, one of the biggest blessings for me. My paycheck is directly reflected to how many lives I'm changing. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and please get back to the person that invited you if you have any questions.